Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Well guys, we've got it, the Ego 100 watt lightweight foldable solar panel. And we're gonna do our unboxing, but we're also gonna do a test as well, not just a close look and go over specs, but we're actually going to go ahead and do a test. Um, the panel seems really uh, made really well, all right? Uh, a little bit on the high side as far as cost, but why don't we go ahead and get this party started? Why don't we go ahead and get this unboxed? And there you go. And you get a packet with some literature and I'm sure a little manual on this uh, solar panel and it looks really nice quality I'll tell you you know if you look at the uh, handle looks like it's made well they went the extra mile you've got ego branding you can't miss that you've got the holes on all of the sides of the panel um, we'll open this up in a second you can see there, you turn it around, you've got a pouch, you've got a kickstand. All right, let's lay this down for a second. Let's just see what is in the pouch. So we've got our MC4 cables. So there you go, just a standard cable. Or they're giving you an adapter to XT60. That's interesting. So you just connect these. You can go right into an XT60. What does that say about the future, huh, guys? What do you think? Put your comments down below. <laughs> what are you thinking right now? But it uh, looks like a nice cable, nice little simple junction box. And uh, do we have uh, USB? I think we're supposed to. So you do have USB and a USB Type-C. So look at that. This Type-C here and the USB there. Nice small box. So that's pretty cool. All right, and uh, let me crack this open. So you've got these little straps you just pop in, and uh, they open up real easy, and they seem to slide back in real easy as well. So that's nice. All right, and this is uh, a two-panel. We'll figure out what the coating is also, because that's important, right? So we've got, I'll lay it here for a minute, but there you go. All right, 100 watt panel, and uh, let's take a look at the other side. So you've got one kickstand on this side and another on that side. That's not bad. Well, let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. So here's everything we're going to use for today's demonstration. We've got the Nexus power station, right? We've got two Ego batteries. We're gonna charge from 0% to full. We've got extra cable, solar cable, because we're gonna put the solar panel out there. So we need that. Now, the solar panel will basically connect to these cables, but the other side needs to connect to the Nexus power station. And so you have to buy the solar charger by Ego. All right, I'll put some videos in the description. We did a whole bunch of videos on this. But basically, one side gets connected via solar. So you see this? This is the cable that comes with the solar charger. And this gets connected here. And then we connect these cables to the solar cable. But then how do we connect the solar charger to the Nexus? Well, that's pretty easy. You take your old power plug that you're not going to use right now. You're going to pull out one side. This is the side you're going to need. You're not going to use this. You're going to take this, plug it in to the solar charger. Then you're going to take the other side of this cable and plug it into the back of the Nexus which is right there. 
So you got this connected to the solar charger. You now connect the solar cable I showed you a moment ago. And we're gonna go ahead and test this out. Now before I test it out, I forgot to mention, we've got a solar angle guide. This is really cool, it's very inexpensive. And what it does is it uses this shadow, like it'll use a dot and create a shadow. So you can angle your solar panel correctly. We'll show you that in a minute. And then when you want to disconnect the solar cables, this is a real inexpensive way to disconnect the solar cables later on. We'll show you that also. So there you go. A nice angle. And I'll tell you, the kickstands do a really good job initially just holding this thing up. Obviously, you've got that Ego branding, right? Got that green. People love that green. But uh, you look down here, you do have some stretchable straps. There is a limit. So uh, it'll only be able to go back so far. And that's the only downside I see. But the uh, kickstands are pretty thick. They're wide. I think that helps. As you can see here, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. So let's get the angle right here, and I think I got it right. I use this angle finder, and what it does is it has a dot on the top that creates a shadow. You see that shadow? Now because this panel doesn't go back far enough, it's pretty centered, but as you could see, if I could get this to go back further, or actually I'm going to push it up further for now. Give me a second, let me do that, and then we'll be able to get this a little more centered and that's the best angle we'll find using this. So I moved the kickstands up as high as I could. I have a better angle, just not the exact one I want, but as you could see there, I've got, uh, it is better. So that's the best we're going to get. All right, we just connected the panel, and what we want to do right now is just kind of see what it's producing before we start our test. So let's go down here and take a look at what we're getting. And it looks like 22.5 volts and a little over four amps on our meter. All right, 22.5 volts and 4.03 amps. So that's what we're getting. Let's go ahead and do our test. All right, well, we've got the Nexus connected to the solar charger and the solar charger connected to the 100 watt panel. Now we've got two 5 amp hour batteries. I am hoping we can recharge these. It's going to be how long, right? It is currently um, 8.50 in the morning. Let's connect these two now. This thing just lit up. We should start to see lights on the solar controller. In a second, here it goes, green, we're receiving power. And the one thing that the Nexus doesn't tell you is how much power is coming in. But we've got two dead batteries. And uh, what it'll do is it's going to start charging number one. So again, 8.50 in the morning, this thing says nine hours. Now the key thing is adjusting the solar panel's angle. So we're gonna be doing that and we'll see how long we can charge two five amp hour batteries. So we changed the positioning of the panel. We'll keep doing that. But let's take a look and see what we've got here on the Nexus power station. So it says we've got six hours and 29 minutes left it's already moved over to battery number two. We've got one light flashing. What do we have on this one? So we've got one light there. So it takes a while. It, you know, it charges this battery and then it moves over and charges this battery. It is, as you can see, one hour in. So one hour in and uh, it says we have six hours and change left. Not bad, again, it's a nice day. We don't have, uh, we have a couple of clouds, but we'll see how we do with the test. So far, so good. 
two hours in. Let's check this out and see what we got here. All right, we're down to five hours. All right, two hours in, and we've got two bars here, and this is working on the second one. So we've got five hours so far. Again, the sun's pretty good. I'll keep moving the panel. Not bad. Four hours into charging with the solar panel. It's placed, as you can see, it's moved. We have, um, this one's working on 60%, so it's not completely 60% charged. This battery is 60% uh, charged. And we are, uh, we have two hours and 48 minutes remaining, two hours and 47 minutes remaining to be completely solar charged. We'll keep our eyes on it, but uh, not so bad. Six hour check. As you can see, the panel continues to move out <laughs> and the, the shading of the house, uh, you know, appears. And what do we got? So we've got one battery, 100%. Next battery, all right. Coming on to 80%. Uh, again, six hour check. Says we've got about an hour and 19 minutes left. We'll keep our eye on this. Six and a half hours, and uh, this is full, as you saw before. And this is uh, working now on 80 to 100 percent. All right, so what does the screen say? We've got 43 minutes until it's fully charged. Pretty cool, you know, pretty cool. And yeah, we moved the panel again to stay away from that shading. Six and a half hours, not bad. Six hours and 50 minutes, almost seven hours. Look at that. I got to keep pushing the panel back. Anyway, again, 100% charge here. We are almost there with this one, and this is telling us we've got 12 minutes left. So it should be seven hours and two minutes, right? I got to keep moving that panel back. Eight hours and 15 minutes. We are definitely losing sunlight <laughs> i'm going to keep pushing that panel back but as you can see here this is still going it does say it's 10 minutes left so i don't know we'll see i should be able to do it eight hours and 19 minutes and both batteries are charged one and two and if you think about putting two 10 amp hours on well you're looking at probably about 16 hours. So how we disconnect our solar cables is you'll notice that this side's plugged into this side and it's got two little clips. You see these two clips? And what you do with this little piece here is you lay it underneath. And when you do that, it actually grabs a hold of the clips and then all you need to do and actually, I've got it the wrong way, so I'm going to put it this way. All right, and then this pulls right out. You see that? Not bad. All right, so made well. I do wish that it could angle a little better. The legs don't go too far back, but it's pretty much in line with a lot of these lightweight foldable panels. This does cost more right a lightweight foldable panel does cost more this is probably a little higher than i'd like but um, it's good to see ego supporting solar who knows what's uh, coming in the future but hey if this video helped you in any way take a moment and give us a thumbs up we'd really appreciate it all right it really helps the channel and our video and follow us on uh, social media right up top if you'd like that'd be great check out our new tesla channel uh, we got a Tesla this year. We've got almost 12,000 miles. We've done a couple of videos on accessories, but we're working on some other videos. So hopefully you'll subscribe. And if you'd like to subscribe to Tech Made Easy, our channel, we'd love to have you in the family. Take a moment and click the round circle right there, the Tech Made Easy circle, and you will be in the family. Uh, looking forward to hearing from you. I'll put another box on the right if you want to check out some of our 
uh, solar panel videos. Guys, thank you so much. Have a great day.